Now let us discuss module number two, the homogeneous linear equation with constant coefficient. The complementary function on yc, solution to the homogeneous linear equation. The determination of the complementary function yc, which represents the general solution to the homogeneous linear equation with constant coefficients, phi dy is equal to ao d raised to n, a sub 1, d raised to n minus 1, up to a sub n minus 1, d, plus a n, times y is equal to 0. It's dependent on the nature of the roots of the auxiliary equation. There are four cases on this solution, and they are listed as follows. Case number 1. When the roots r sub 1, r sub 2, up to r sub n, of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct. Case number 2. When there are p, where p is greater than or equal to n, equal roots, r sub 1 is equal to r sub 2, up to, up to equal to r sub p, of the auxiliary equation and the rest real and distinct. Case number 3. When the auxiliary equation has two conjugate complex roots, r sub 1 is equal to a plus bi, and r sub 2 is equal to a minus bi, and the rest real and distinct. In case number 4, when the conjugate complex roots a plus, plus or minus bi occurs p times, or p is greater than 1, in the auxiliary equation, and the rest, real and distinct. Now let us have the solution of case number one. First, consider the second ordered homogeneous linear equation with constant coefficient, that is, a sub o, or a sub zero, d square, plus a sub one, d, plus a sub 2, y is equal to 0. Assume that the roots of the corresponding auxiliary equation okay, would be a sub o m square plus a sub 1 m plus a sub 2 is equal to 0. This is, the, this is the auxiliary equation. Okay. Our r sub 1 and r sub 2, which are further assumed to be real and distinct. The factored form of the equation can now be written as a sub o times d minus r sub 1 times d minus r sub 2 is equal to 0. Okay? To solve the equation, let z be equal to d minus r sub 2 y. So letter A, we have to let z be equal to d minus r sub 2 y. Then equation, this equation here, okay, or that is equation 2.1b, reduces this into a sub o times d minus r sub 1, okay, we have y here. And this thing here is equal to z, and that is equal to 0, okay? Or we can have this as 
dz dx minus r sub 1 z is equal to 0. Using the method on the separation of variables, we may now have this as ln of z is equal to r sub 1 x plus c. And z reduces further into z is equal to k e r sub 1 x okay the next step is for us to substitute this into the original equation or to c i mean so we have we have to substitute this value of z here in there wherein we have z Okay. Z is equal to D minus R sub 2 Y. But what is Z? Z is K E R uh, E raised to R sub 1 X is equal to dy minus r sub 2 y distributive lang or we have dy is equivalent to dy over dx minus r sub 2 y is equal to k e raised to r sub 1 x okay and this equation now here is a linear equation of the first order wherein your p is equal to negative r sub 2 your q is equal to k e raised to r sub 1 x and the integrating factor phi is equal to the integral of p i is equal to e raised to the integral of p dx or this is equal to e raised to negative r sub 2 x that is the integrating factor and finally for the solution we have so first ordered linear paren phi is equal to the integral of phi q dx plus c sub 2. Or we have y e to the negative r sub 2 x is equal to the integral of e to the negative r sub 2 x times q. But what is q? That is k e raised to r sub 1 x dx plus c sub 2. Okay? Or this will become y e to the negative r sub 2 x is equal to the integral of k e raised to r sub 1 x e raised to negative r sub 2 x dx plus c sub 2. And integrating, we have, integrating and simplifying, we have y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to r sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to r sub 2 x. Okay? And now, for the third order homogeneous linear equation with constant coefficient, in which the corresponding auxiliary equation has real and distinct roots, r sub 1, r sub 2, and r sub 3, it can likewise, likewise be shown that the solution is, to generalize, 
y is equal to c sub 1 a raised to r sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to r sub 2 x plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 x and so on. Kung mas marami pa yan, okay pa. Or, we can generalize this as y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to r sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to r sub 2 x plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 x plus ellipsis plus c, c sub n e raised to r sub n x. So this is the general form of equation or solution to case number one. Now, let us have an example for case number one. Okay. Example number one. Determine the solution of d cube minus 4d square plus 3d y is equal to 0. So, what is the first thing that we have to do? This is now the solution. A, we have to get the auxiliary equation of the equation or the given the A and find the roots of the equation. So in this case, for letter A, we may write this as m cubed minus 4m squared plus 3m is equal to 0. Okay? So maybe factor out m times m squared minus 4m plus 3 is equal to 0. We may further factor what is inside the parenthesis. So we have m times what? m minus 1 times m minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the roots of the differential equation is m is equal to 0 or r sub 1 is equal to 0 m is equal to 1 or r sub 2 is equal to 1 and m is equal to 3 or r sub 3 is equal to 3. Right. Next, what is the factored form of the given equation? This is letter B. The factored form of the given equation could be d times d minus 1 times d minus 3 y is equal to 0. Okay? Okay? So, the solution based on the generalized solution is y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to r sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to r sub 2 x plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 x. This is the generalized form of the solution to case number 1 or y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to r sub 1 is 0 times x is 0 plus c sub 2 e raised to r sub 2 is 1 times x is x plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 is 3 times x is e raised to 3x. 
So this is now the solution to problem number one. Now let us have example number two or problem number two. Find the general solution of d cube minus 3d square minus d plus 3y is equal to 0. Letter A once again. The auxiliary equation could be written as m cube minus 3m square minus m plus 3 is equal to 0. And which is factorable? So how are we going to factor this out? This is factorable as m minus 1 times m plus 1 times m minus 3 is equal to 0. Wherein your r sub 1 is equal to 1, r sub 2 is equal to negative 1, and r sub 3 is equal to 3. Okay? Now, letter B on the solution. So, we have the given homogeneous linear equation written in its factored form as d minus 1 times d plus 1 times d minus 3 y is equal to 0, which can be written using the generalized form of equation here, y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to 1 times x is x, r sub 1 times x is x, plus c sub 2 e raised to negative x, plus c sub 3 e raised to 3x. And that is the solution for problem number two or example number two. Now let us have the solution of case two. So in case, what is case number two? When there are p or p is greater than or equal to n equal roots of the auxiliary equation, and the rest, real and distinct. Okay? So, I won't be discussing with you any further the uh, determination of the solution. The solution to case number 2 can be generalized as y is equal to e raised to r sub 1x times c sub 1 plus c sub 2x plus c sub 3x squared. That is the generalized solution. Now, how are we going to do about this? Let us have example number 1. Determine the solution of 4d cubed minus 4d square plus d y is equal to 0. So what is the auxiliary form of this equation? We have 4m cube minus 4m square plus m is equal to 0. So if you'll notice, once we write down the auxiliary equation of the equation, uh, uh, temporarily, yung y nawawala. So we can process this now as just an algebraic equation. Alright? So, if we're going to factor this out, what will be the factor of this equation? So it will become, we may factor out m times 4m square 
minus 4m plus 1 is equal to 0. Or we may have this as m times 2m minus 1 times 2m minus 1 is equal to 0. Where the roots are 2m minus 1 is equal to 0 or m is equal to 1 half. This is r sub 1 which is equal to r sub 2 and m is equal to 0. This is r sub 3 is equal to 0 and this is equal to 1 half. So we have two roots equal and one distinct root that is equal to r is equal to 0. So what will be the solution? Okay. For solution to case number 2, this is just for equal roots. This is applicable only for equal roots. And the distinct roots, we should apply what we have discussed in case number 1. Clear? Now let's have this. So for distinct roots, we have y is equal to c sub 1 as uh, e pala. e taga. y is equal to e raised to r sub 1 x times c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x since we only have two equal roots. Kaya dalawa lamang to. Dito kasi ina-assume natin na tatlo. Okay? Actually, mas marami pa akong mas marami yan. Plus the distinct roots. That is, c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 x. This is now the form of the solution to example number 1 of case number 2. And applying the roots, we have y is equal to e raised to r sub 1 and r sub 2. That is 1 half x times c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x plus c sub 3 pala to. c sub 3 e raised to 0. Or further, we could write this as e raised to 1 half x times c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x plus c sub 3. And this is now the solution to example number 1 of case number 2. Okay, now let's have example number two of case number two. Determine the solution or find the general solution of the cube minus 6d square plus 12d minus 8y is equal to 0. Now, letter A, the first step, is to find the corresponding auxiliary equation. So in this case, we have letter A. We have m cubed minus 6m squared plus 12m minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, if we're going to factor this out, the factor of this should be m minus 2 times m minus 2 times m minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, r sub 1 is equal to r sub 2 is equal to r sub 3. And that is equal to 2. So that will be the roots of the equation. Okay? So the factored form of differential equation could be written as d 
minus 2 cube y is equal to 0. And the solution for this is y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to r sub 1, but may siba ako. e raised to r sub 1 x times c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x plus c sub 3 x squared. Since that law yung equal roots natin, c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3, yun na sa loob ng parentheses. Okay? And then we have e raised to r sub 1, that is 2, x times c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x plus c sub 3 x square. And this will be the solution to example number 2 of case number 2. Okay? Now let us have the solution to case 3. So again, hindi ko na i-discuss in detail how we arrive on the generalized form of the equation or solution to case number 3. Anyway, isinend ko naman na sa inyo yung module para dyan at nakasulat doon how we are we arrived on the general the generalized form of solution to case number 3. Now, for case number 3, the generalized form of equations could be written as y is equal to e raised to ax times c sub 1 cosine bx plus c sub 2 sine bx plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3x plus up to c sub n e raised to r sub n x. So, case number 3, okay, case number 3 is when the auxiliary equation has two conjugate complex numbers, r sub 1 is equal to a plus bi, and r sub 2 is equal to a minus bi. So, two conjugate complex numbers, r sub 1 is equal to a, plus b i r sub 2 is equal to a minus b i and the rest real and distinct okay so let's have example number one of case number three number one find the solution of d square minus 4d plus 5y is equal to 0. So how are we going to solve this equation? Again, the first thing that we have to do is to find the auxiliary equation or transform this into its auxiliary form. So we have m square minus 4m plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay? So, how are we going to factor this out? Okay. Sa algebra natin, pwede natin gamitin yung quadratic equation for us to be able to find the root of the equation. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung quadratic equation. Ano ba yung quadratic equation? In this case, m is equal to, ano? Negative b plus and minus the square root of, ano ba yung quadratic equation natin? Nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> okay. You may use quadratic equation para makuha natin yung factor. Okay? b square minus 4ax over 4a. 4ac pala. So we have 
your A here is 1, B, negative 4, C, 5. Your M is equal to negative B, or 4, plus and minus the square root of B square is 16, minus 4, times 1, times 5, all over 4, times 1. Or M is equal to 4, plus and minus the square root of Mm -hmm. 16 minus 20 is the square root of negative 4, okay, over 4. 4, eh, ba? Okay. Two A. This must be two A. Two A. Sorry. And this is four over two plus and minus the square root of negative four over two. Your M is equal to two plus and minus the square root of negative 4 is undefined but we may have this as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1 where negative 1 the square root of negative 1 is equal to i all over 2 i mean over 2 all over 2 so your m is equal to 2 plus and minus 2 i over 2 or your m is equal to 2 plus and minus i so the roots are r sub 1 is equal to 2 plus i and r sub 2 is equal to 2 minus i so m so quadratic equation x equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a nga pala, hindi 4a. Okay? So that will be the root of the equation. Ang tagal ko na kasi hindi nagturo ng algebra mula na nagkaroon ng senior high school. Kinalimutan ko na ang quadratic equation. <laughs> okay? Now let's go to letter b of the solution for case 3. So we have the generalized solution for case 3. 